Loverfiller has just announced that the purge will be starting on the 1st of December. For some people, this might destroy them. They will be upset. But for me, this is fun and games. Watching people's hard work go to waste, looking back at the server, all those memories I had with everyone and the server, and all those events that I entered in Lover for the server. I'm ItConvex101 and I'll be teaching you guys all about the purge in Lover for the server. Hold on Convex, how do you know that the purge on Lover for the server is going to start on the 1st of December? Well. Loverfella put it on his Discord server and on all of his other social medias. Oh, so does that mean I should join your server? Well, you should join my Discord server. But for this information, you should also join Loverfella's server. So, Convex, what is the Loverfella's server purge? I'm kind of curious here. Well, basically the Loverfella server purge it's where the server goes into a mode without no rules, no laws. Anyone can do anything they want, even to spawn. They can go grief, steal from anyone. The only two things that you can't do is hack, like using any hack clients, that's still bannable, or foul language, that is still bannable. But everything else, from griefing, stealing stuff like that you can do that the server will reset everything you have will be gone except your ranks and L bucks so all your money builds and all that will be gone you will be able to skin deck your items but we don't know when that will happen Skin dexing is when you basically you if we think about it as Pokemon go when you catch a Pokemon it's registered in your Pokedex so it's the same with skin dexes when you get that skin dex near enough to the end of the server you can register it register it in your skin dex then in next season you can get it again you can just put it on another item another event item like it's simple if this video helped your understanding of the lover fella server purge please like subscribe join my discord down below and bye